What's going on guys, Tosker here and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to uh, import a existing project in Visual Studio up on GitHub. And one thing I want to mention first is you want to make sure you have the GitHub extension for Visual Studio which you'll get at visualstudio.github.com I'll put the link in the description and then you also want to make sure that we are logged in on GitHub and we want to go to our profile our repositories and we will get back to that in just a second because now we want to get our team explorer and if you don't see it you go to view and team explorer and then it should pop up here then we also want to make sure that we are connected to GitHub which uh, you'll be able to do by clicking up here and connecting and then uh, logging in and we want to go to our projects new repository and then here is where we're going to create a new repository and it automatically sets it up for me but just to show you I'm gonna cancel and I'm gonna click new and then here I'm going to import a Caesar cipher application that I made in a console just for like demonstration purposes and then we'll hit create and here we have it and I will drag my uh, Windows or my file explorer over here so you can see in my documents github it created a folder for us and here we see it now if I want to move an existing project here I have to go to my documents and then here's the project we want I want to copy this so copy the project then go back to our github and go to our new folder and we're going to paste it in here so now that we have it pasted in here we want to right click on this hit open then we want to go to file open project and go to our documents our github here and we want to open up our .cs proj. And now that we click that, we go to our Solution Explorer, we can see the program is now open. And we go back, and now we want to go to Changes. And then here we have to commit our staged changes, which is when we initialize this new uh, remote repository. So here I'm just going to write commit staged and we'll commit that it's going to tell us to sync but before we do right here we're going to say importing project and then we're going to hit commit all and it's going to have me save a dot sln just fine so we'll do that and then now this is where we want to click sync and it's going to say publish to remote repository and then publish git repo now this is where we have to go to our uh, github in our web browser and we're in our repositories tab and we want to click new then I'm going to create a new repository here called Caesar cipher and I'll leave description blank for now and we'll hit create repository then we'll get to this famous page and up here we want to copy the link to our repository and then now we go back to our Visual Studio publish git enter the URL hit publish and then it'll publish our branch and now if we go back to our browser and we refresh we see that our project was successfully published on github fairly simple uh, I, I've struggled a lot with github myself and uh, yeah so I don't know some people think I'm crazy for saying like I, I used to think github was so complicated to publish uh, projects to and all that but I guess I just really didn't commit the time and effort to try and understand it uh, and I'm assuming if you're watching this video you might be in the same situation but that's essentially it and then you know anytime uh, we change something so I hit you know I guess I want to put exclamation points here for some reason I'm really excited to ask them and then we go back to our changes 
and then I will say exclamations added and then we'll do commit all again yes and I want to save it and then now that we commit we also have to sync it so we'll hit sync we want to sync because when we're committing it we're committing it to the remote repository and then we want to sync it so if we go over here and we uh, go to our github we're syncing it to here so now if I opened up my program.cs there's our exclamation so you want to understand that we have the remote repository and then we have our github repository so we want to commit them on here to our remote repository rather and then we want to sync it so then they uh, all the changes are committed to our github as well so uh, I hope I helped hope I didn't make things more confusing but uh, this is a easy way I found to do it and actually uh, pretty excited I, I'll start doing it this way um, so yeah if you enjoyed it you know leave a comment maybe a like or whatever or don't I don't really care and uh, I at least hope I helped so see ya